Hello YouTube, uh, I'm John from Cars and Cameras, the normal person who does all the car and the go-kart and now many bike related things on the channel. I'm Isaac, friend of John's and local mechanic. And this is Bert. He is from my school and he knows nothing about cars or mini bikes, but he's about to learn and he's going to be a cameraman. Today we're going to be working on a mini bike. We bought it from Sears. He bought it from Sears for $300. Uh, it's two and a half horsepower. 80 cc's and it is extremely slow. It does about 15 miles an hour where the go-kart does just under 50. Check out that video if you haven't already. So if you thought Roadkill by Motor Trend was cheap, this is about to blow your mind. On our initial test run, the speedometer we used read 6 miles an hour when at a standstill, so we figured that it was 6 miles an hour fast at all times, confirming our suspicions that the bike topped out at less than 20 miles an hour. Also, riding in the dark was terrifying, even if it was only 15 miles an hour. Don't be like us. Wait for the daylight. Alright, so as you can see, the factory exhaust oops, I'm glad that wasn't hot, um, <laughs> actually blows into the wind. It blows that way isn't good for performance or you know going fast. So we're going to take that off and make a redneck header for free if you have a pipe and a welder. Well, that's not hot. Look at that. Look what we got here. This is a perfect flange for our header. We can weld we can weld right onto that for our header. For the record, we don't recommend you do this at home. Why not? Just liability reasons. Okay. <laughs> so if you get hurt doing stupid stuff to your, you know, redneck mini bike, it's not our fault. It's on you. It's my fault. It's Bert's fault. So you can sue Bert. Contact him at Bert at hotmail.gmail.aol.com. Safety is obviously our number one concern. Safety glasses. Safety glasses. Oh, I already made that speech. I, I didn't realize how like rigged our projects were until like until you're filming it. Until I realized people would be watching this and, and judging oh. the crap out of us. Let's see the fitment on that bad boy. Did you see this? Oh man, that's beautiful. Nice. Oh yeah. There that is. is gorgeous. Party. Here's a good tip for extracting these studs from the block. You put two nuts on, so they're jammed together, and that's it. See, you're learning things on cars and cameras today. Yep. <laughs> what do you learn on MTV? Save the gasket. Save the gasket. Because we're going to need it. Sexy. And how much did that exhaust cost you, Ike? Zero dollars. We got to a point where we, uh, these long studs are just way too long. We need to get some shorter bolts for the flange for the uh, header. So, so we're going. making a Lowe's run. Yeah. That is going to be just right. And we're choosing Allen so they don't interfere with the pipe. All right, Ike, what are you doing? I'm trying to figure out how to run this exhaust. I got to make room for the two screws. I was going to hook it up like that, which is beautiful, but it doesn't give me access to the back, the hidden, the hidden screw right there. It blocks it. I was born in Massachusetts. What does that say about me? <laughs> Massachusetts. <laughs> I don't like Massachusetts, so I, don't really <laughs> <care>. <laughs> I think it's a bad state. I'm sorry. Just let me All right, let's it. not piss off too many uh, people talking about their state. I like 49 of the 50 states. There's just one I don't. Massachusetts. See, I don't, I don't see the problem in, in it. attaching it, it right there and then having like three exits what if you like recut this three exits oh yeah for all the all the exhaust look form. man we can do a stack 
Yeah. 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 A stack. No. <laughs> Eastbound and down, buddy. Woo doggy. This is like roadkill, but a million times probably worse and infinitely times more redneck. All right, what are we doing to the exhaust now? We need a little bit of clearance for the bolt heads to pass by the pipe, so we're gonna pinch it off a little bit. In so, a vice that is not bolted that down. Is not bolted down. For many of y'all who don't have a welder at home, this right here is a Harbor Freight welder, $99. This one's about four years old now. It has been used a lot. Hopefully it still works. We'll find out. How's your game fuel? I'm fueled up, ready to go. Yep, Bert, Bert is out of his element here. You can usually find him on World of Warcraft at... Uh, shout out, no? Shout out to JC the Legend. JC the Legend, yep. Salute the conglomerate. You should never look directly into the light. <laughs> Cover. Sweet. All right, with it tacked in place, we can take it off of the motorcycle now because we don't want to damage any of the aluminum. As you can see, we've got some splatter on it and we don't want to mess anything up. So now that it's tacked, we can take it off and finish welding it on a good surface. Oh. See that quality well. No, 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 no. Let me clean it up. Where's my glasses? I Why? gave them to him. Why can't we see the nice welding? This is non-gas welding. A poor this workman. Flux core welding. Blames. I absolutely hate it. His tools. Yeah, Thank it's you. got a lot of splatter. Oh yeah, look at that. It's, That's gorgeous. It's, it's terrible. Oh yeah. It's terrible, but hopefully you'll see it after I clean it up. Ah, oh, yeah. Real nice. Not too bad, not too bad. Not too okay. bad. Get it, oh, that thing doesn't want to move. That's fine. <laughs> the next thing we're gonna do, after we made this fine uh, exhaust header, chrome header, out of just random pipe just laying around not doing a damn thing. We are now going to modify the air box and jet the carburetor. This is another thing on the to-do list. Remove the governor, which... Uh, What's the governor? The governor is ah! what... Oh, there it goes. The governor restricts the engine from going above a certain RPM, um, which is good for ah, like, reliability. For yeah, and safety, but I mean. All right, where's the cap? Safety is number one for us, but it's not. It's obviously not our concern. We've shown that. Yeah, and removing the governor, it'll make, it'll make a lot faster, but it also, there's a higher chance of it exploding, so. But it's not gonna explode. Well. It might. It's not. So, so you just got to get on this knowing that something right. between your legs could so, explode. So what we have here is the most restricted carburetor I have ever seen in my life. See, see that little itty bitty hole in there? Yep. I so want to drill it out to get more airflow, but that would be a... Uh, quite a job. Quite a job. <laughs> And especially when this is going to get a Predator motor this weekend. Shh, don't tell them that. Especially when it's not going to get a Predator motor this weekend. <laughs> Worth it, man. All right. No, I, you know, if, if you're going to get a Predator motor this weekend, let's just put as much NOS in it as it can handle and blow it up, and then we can get a Predator motor. My car topped out at 140 miles an hour this morning. I'd need NOS, two of the big ones. And Harry... I need him by tonight.
I got that reference. There it is. <laughs> when the fuel level rises in this bowl, this float picks up and it cuts off the fuel going into the carburetor. There's a jet in there. That is where it gets the more fuel. So we are gonna drill that out. This right here is what we're gonna be drilling out. You making any progress, eh? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you did. If you feel like it, you can drill yourself a few speed holes. Anyhow, I cut out the obstruction, putting the air filter back on. We drilled some speed holes in it for more airflow and speed. That's right. Because that's what matters. That's right. So we're going to reinstall speed. it and see what happens. And make sure you get this rubber hose hooked up. This is part of what I'm assuming is the crank case ventilation. Put this underneath. That guy up to there. So there's our new air box modified with speed holes. And there's, uh, there's the carburetor with a bigger jet in. So we're going to see if she starts. We're going to see if she starts. First fire up. Fuel is on. Choke is on. Ignition is on. Be free. Still needs lots of work. This is just uh, particularly a new one engine. one improvement, two improvements I reckon. Three. But, uh, three. Three. We got the exhaust. The exhaust. We got. The, we drilled the jet and we did the air box. There goes Mr. Cars and Carts again, <laughs> having some fun on the little mini bike. But uh, yes, it's not good enough for us. Sure, it was $300. <laughs> it's a cool buy, but we're gonna make it cooler. It is so slow. <laughs> but is it faster? Does it's, it feel a little it's, better? It's faster, but it's still... It's, it needs more, doesn't it? Yeah. It needs more. We're not happy with it. It's not fast enough. Not happy. We're gonna have to do something okay. else. For for a dollar and eighty seven cents or whatever the uh, those two bolts cost, it's not a bad mod, but needs more. Since these modifications didn't add very much power, we decided that this would be the perfect project for a father and son who want to gain experience in modifying small engines while retaining reliability and only marginally improving acceleration. Because we weren't happy with the results, we will be doing a second phase of upgrades at a later date. So stay tuned for that, along with a race between the go-kart and a mini bike. Thanks for watching, and please like, comment, and subscribe.